Good day, YouTube. It's Brett here from Overtime Gaming with you once again, and welcome back to our second episode of our NFL 25 Owner Mode series with the Seattle Seahawks. And uh, we're going to start things off here. I'm doing the whole of preseason in this episode. It's going to be probably around 20 minutes long. We're not playing any of the games. We're going to start with cuts. So we got our three quarterbacks, which we're keeping. We're going to cut Christian Mike here because I have another running back in mind. Hopefully he gets released. He did last time I did it. Spencer Ware, we're also going to cut the LSU rookie. Uh, wide receivers, we're going to keep Harvin, Rice, Tate, Harper, Baldwin, Bates. And then Kirst can go, or however you say it, guys. Williams, Martin, Swain and Walters can all go as well. I know I'm probably keeping one extra than I need. But if we need to at a later date, I can always cut him as well. We go down, we cut Brett Swain, and then Walters is the last guy. On the wide receivers. I prefer doing all the cuts at once. Uh, tight end. We'll keep the top three. We'll cut Sean McGrath. And uh, oh no not Zach Miller. <laughs> and Clint Gresham. Again none of them would get any game time for us. Left tackle we'll keep both. Left guard we'll keep the top two. Probably yet. Yeah. Uh, we'll cut Moffitt and Johnson. There we go, we move to centre, we'll keep both. Right guard, we'll keep both as well. Uh, right tackle, we'll cut Bowie because I know I'm going to sign a new right tackle to take over. Uh, left end, we will actually cut Red Brian and Greg Scruggs. So we go here. Right end, Bruce Irvin. We're going to keep all three. Defensive tackle, we got maybe. We're going to cut, I oh know, we're going to keep Jay Howard, sorry. We're going to cut Clinton McDonald. Same with Hill. Yeah, we're going to cut McDaniel as well. And we're going to cut Williams as well. So we're just making our final cuts. Um, I understand it's probably boring. But if you want, just skip these cuts. We're going to cut Mike Morgan as well. Linebackers are the position we really need to improve. We'll keep both our middle linebackers. Right outside linebacker, we're going to cut pretty much everyone other than Harwell. Um, cut Bradford as well. Right outside linebacker. I already know who I'm going for. Cornerback position. One, two, three, four, five. And actually, we're going to cut Byron Maxwell because I've got another cornerback that I'm going to trade for. Hopefully, he's on the trade block. He was last time I looked. Let's cut all of these guys. Uh, Sheed, you go too. Furman, Parker, and Blackman can all go. I wish you could select multiple players. I remember on one of the Maddens. You used to just put a tick next to the name about who you wanted to cut. I wish you could do that rather than having to go up and down every time. We go here. Three safeties. We're going to cut Maragoose because we don't need him. And we're going to keep all three of our strong safeties. So there's all the cuts made. There's a media question for us. This is one of the new things in the game. As uh, we look, you read the question. Just pause it and look at it if you want. I'm going for the top response. I already know what it is. And uh, this is one of the new things that's really intriguing. And uh, we're going to go and sign a couple of the free agents that are available to us right now. As we move across the team, you've got to go to improve roster and then free agents. The new trade center is awesome. I'll show you some of that in this episode. And uh, we go down. There's none of the quarterbacks we want. We look at any of these. There's Beanie Wells available. So we're going to go straight and grab Beanie Wells as our backup running back. He's a decent power back. Is that Jermaine Battle? Jackie Battle? Uh, not who I was thinking of. Um... Uh, Vontae Leach has dropped big time on this game. Don't need any of these guys. Same here. Right tackle we do need. And that's Eric Winston. Uh, who else is available to us? Winston Justice. Now we go. Eric Winston. Sign him to a one-year deal. Take some of our funds, but it's the sort of player we need in our side. Needed to upgrade at that position, so that's exactly what we've gone and done. We move down here. We're going to sign... A core here too, so we sign him. Oh, I cancelled it by accident. It's just another good defensive tackle for us. Right outside linebacker, anyone here? So no, now we're going to go into the trading as we've done our free agency. This is the new look stuff. We're going to go to the trade block first because there's a guy that was on the trade block that I was really looking for. And that's this guy, Chris Culliver. I know we've got some awesome cornerbacks at the side already, but Antoine Winfield's already getting old. Uh, he's 36, I believe. So we're going to try and get him. If we can get him for a second rounder, which is what we're going to offer first, that would be an awesome pickup for us. 
And it is accepted. So we got a starting cornerback in the NFL for a second round draft pick. If you didn't know, I'm not a huge fan of draft, drafting on the games. And that's because because I'm on an Xbox in the UK, we don't get NCAA football. So I can't import the draft class. So unfortunately, I can't get real players by the looks of it. So because of that, I don't see the point too much of drafting. Now we go down and we're looking at the right outside linebackers. This is Zach Brown. There's some awesome linebackers out there for me to get. I've got one in mind already, but I'm just looking around to see who else we could get. Brian Arakpo, I would love to get, but there's no way I'd be able to get him. I'm gonna. I'm thinking, we might as well try what they after. No, we'd literally have no positions what they want, so I'd have to give all my draft picks, and it's not happening. Courtney Upshaw, I would love to get Courtney Upshaw. Or Alvis Dummerville. They've got two. Courtney Upshaw probably would be a really good idea. So let's go after Corey Upshaw, actually. See if we can get him for a second round draft pick as well. We'll give a next year second rounder for him. See if we can pick Courtney Upshaw up for that. Let's submit the offer. And it was accepted. So there we go. We got our right outside linebacker this time. Again, I'm probably going to get heat and a lot of hate for these trades. But they're positions I needed and they're guys I wanted. So I've gone for that. And I probably could have got them for third rounders and stuff. But we've got the players we wanted. Now we're going to go after left and right guard. The positions we really need. And uh, we'll just see if there's anyone we can get. I want decent aged. Um, decent overall as well. I don't mind giving up like third round draft picks and stuff like that. Carl Nix there obviously. Jonathan Cooper is an 80 overall from the Arizona Cardinals. Let's try and get Cooper. And if we can pick up that free safety Tyler Matthew as well. That would be an awesome try, trade for us. So what do they want? They want a quarterback, right guard, strong safety. We can give them a strong safety, 100%. We give um, Who's older? So we give them Jerome Johnson in this deal. They don't want him, but we can probably get him if we include a, draft, a couple of draft picks. We have no third rounder because we gave that away, I believe. And we give it third and fourth rounder. If they're interested in that, let's submit. We might as well try. They have no interest in the offer. So if we get rid of the fourth rounder, we're probably going to have to give up a decent player in this as well. What other positions are they looking for? Right guard, strong safety, left tackle, tight end. we got a tight end we could probably throw in here. We could give away Anthony McCoy. He's not a guy I want to. Let's see if they want Luke Wilson. They don't want Luke Wilson. So we probably won't be able to get this deal. But it's just a deal that we kind of want to do. Let's see if they want Paul McQuinston. Not great, and he's actually a player I want rid of myself. So it doesn't surprise me that they don't want him. What about left tackle? They want left tackle. Do we have any decent players? We can... No. Oh, this is hard. Let's see what other draft picks and stuff we got. Any outside linebackers we can give up? No. Cornerbacks. We could give up an extra cornerback. If we give up Lane, see if they'll go for this one. Okay, so if we just go like this, we're probably going to have to, let's see if we can get Tyler Matthew anyway, um, just for a third rounder, I know you're probably going to hate me for this, but he's a player I like, no they don't want it, so we're going to pull out of that deal, let's pull out of this completely, and uh, we'll go for another upgraded position of uh, left guard, see what other teams are available, Reinhardt, Schwartz, Thomas, Livings, no, uh, no, just keep going. There's no one really available for us. I mean, it's a hard position to get because everybody's looking for top players at that position. So it's really hard to actually get a good player at that position uh, like Rob Sims. So there's no way we'd be able to get someone like Rob Sims, that's for sure. I mean, keep looking down here. There's just no one really available to us that is that great. You see, there's... There's Foster there, Ramon Foster from the Steelers, but they're probably not ever going to want to get rid of him. Uh, there's just very little we can actually go for in this area. So we're going to pull out of the looking for the left guard. Let's look at right guards as another position we need. There could possibly be some more here. There's Carl Upa, Cooper there. Uh, Vasquez is not going to be someone we're ever going to get. Joseph, no, we wouldn't be able to get him. I want somebody around the 78, 80 overall mark. I know it's a big ask, but it is someone that we probably could pull off. What do the Cowboys want uh, for Bernadou? They want a strong safety as well, so we could try and go in for this one. Uh, let's go in for a free strong safety here. If we give up 
Jerome Johnson again. Do they want this? Let's try it. Let's offer it to them. They're not willing to do it. So we're just not going to be able to get a trade at that position. Is there any guys you think I should go for at that position? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, so let's move along and we'll go to the next week. We've already done our cut. We'll skip all of this stuff. We'll just advance. I'm not going to play any of the preseason games or anything like that. Just because I don't see the point. Um, they're not competitive or anything. And it once you've played one preseason game, you get used to the side anyway. I've done plenty of exhibition games on this. I don't need to go through any of the preseason to know which players I can play well with and which ones I can't. Now, I want to get the depth chart done in this episode as well. So that's why we're going to go through pretty quick here. Um, we'll just see what's available to us on the trade block and stuff like this. But nothing's really there. Nothing that we really want. So we'll advance another week here. There was no media questions or anything like that for us. I want to do, show you the new features as well, the new marketing features and everything like that in this episode too. We'll do that after the depth chart before we move into the regular season. So, hope you're all looking forward to that stuff. So, definitely keep tuned in. I understand the beginning was slightly boring because we were doing cuts and stuff like that. But hopefully from now, because I'm showing you all new features and everything like that, you'll be more involved in it. As you see, we're moving through pre-season here. We're in the third week of pre-season now, I believe. So we'll just simulate uh, week four preseason. We're almost at the regular season. And when we get to the regular season is when I'm going to do the depth chart and everything like that. We'll advance to the regular season and uh, just get things underway. So next episode I can start straight into the game. Now you see it does take a while to advance obviously because it's got a number of games to go through. You think of it, FIFA takes so long to advance through the days and everything like that. This isn't that bad in all honesty. You see, we don't have to cut anyone because I did all the cuts to begin with. So we've got enough players on the squad. Let's advance to week one of the NFL regular season. We'll get the game fours out of the way. And we're going to do the depth chart any second now after this is done. And I'll show you all the new features that we can set um, for the regular season to begin. Obviously, you can do things like upgrade your stadium. If your team's not performing well, if you haven't got enough fan support, you can relocate. Um... For remember that important draft cast is not guaranteed the same ratings. Now I tried to import a draft cast, maybe there's some to download or something like that. But I don't actually have the I can't get NCAA, so there is no way for me to really do this unless you can download. As you see, I can't um import a draft cast. If anyone knows how to import a draft cast without uh having the game, if you can download them from anywhere, let me know. Let's go to the depth chart now, see if there's any positions we really desperately need to improve straight away. You see, we've got our quarter, quarterback set. Russell Wilson was 100% always going to be our starting um, our starting quarterback. As you see, we're going to put Beanie Wells as our backup running back over Robert Turbin. I like Robert Turbin, but he's going to be our third string. As you see, our wide receivers, Percy Harvin, Golden Tate, Sidney Rice and Golden Tate. I actually want to swap because... Sydney Rice is a taller uh, wide receiver than Golden Tate, so I just kind of want that offered to him. Uh, just I want that tall option because obviously we've already got the fast, quick guy in Percy Harvin. We could use Golden Tate in that position too, but he's going to be our third um, wide receiver. We're going to move Chris Harper up to four, Baldwin and Bates there as well. We go to tight ends. You see our three tight ends are already set. That was always going to stay the same too. Left tackle, we got a Kung there. Um, we also have a backup left tackle, which we'll swap out. I want the backups in their actual positions. Left guards, of course, we're starting with Carpenter. Left guards, we do need to improve. But right now, we can't go out and get anyone extra. We just There's no one really available to us. Right guard, we're actually going to start with J.R. Sweezy because he is far younger than Paul McQuinston. So he offers us a bit more when it comes to um, improvement. He could possibly turn into a good right guard in the future. The right tackle, Eric Winston is going to get the start uh, with Giacomni is going to get the backup position. Now, left end is going to be Bennett. Now, this was a debate between for myself because I didn't know who I wanted to start at left end and stuff. But Bennett gets the start at left end. Right end's a tough position. Avril's going to get the start. Irvin's not going to be there even. Chris Clemens there. I think they're going to play defensive tackles for me. As you see, we're going to move here. Chris Clemens goes straight to the top of my defensive tackles. And Avril is actually going to be a defensive tackle for me too, I believe. So the right end, oh, we've got too many right ends. So oh, Bruce Irvin's a beast. 
If we start Bruce Irvins at right end, Avrins can go here as a defensive tackle. So we have Avril and Chris Clemens are defensive tackles right now. Let me know what you guys actually want there. How you would want it laid out and stuff. Just let me know in the comment section below so I can change it about if you want me to. Left outside linebacker, we're starting KJ right, that's obvious. Tuma's going to be our backup because he is our backup left outside linebacker, of course. Middle linebacker, we could use signing another one. I might go into free agency in a minute and see who's available to me. Um, just as another backup position, we could use one because we've only got Ty Powell backing up Wagner. If Wagner gets injured, we're a bit screwed. Right outside linebacker, two, Upshaw's getting a start. And Farwell is the backup position there. Cornerbacks, we're going Sherman. Uh, Culliver's needs to move up big time there. So Culliver's going to be our fourth right now. Uh, Brown is going to be our second, not Winfield. So Winfield's there. Culliver's going to sit at fourth. We'll look to move him up as the season goes on. Jeremy Lane's going to be there as our fifth starter as well. So free safety, of course, is Earl Thomas. Strong safety is Cam Chancellor, Jerome Johnson, and then Winston Gay. And then obviously all this stuff. Kick returner is always going to be Percy Harvin. Same with pump returns. So all that's guaranteed. Let's move here. Uh, we got a few minutes left before anything. See if there's any middle linebackers available in free agency just to pick up um, on a one-year deal. That just gives us a nice backup at the middle linebacker position. As we move in here, middle linebacker. We look around. There's no one really available at all. So we won't go in, into that at all. Uh, I'll show you some of the new features that are available because we've done that. You see, there's the new team value stuff. We're eighth overall right now. That will hopefully move up as the season goes on. Let's look at our finances. This is where you can change how much you're selling everything for, and it could be really good for it. You see, tickets, uh, we're down 9.62 million tickets sold last game. The tickets in the upper section are pretty cheap, so we can automatically put this up. Um, I mean, the current price is good value, apparently. So if we move it up to 85, it just gives us an extra $5. Uh, good value for Mazine tickets, too. So we'll move this up to 130 Good value here. We'll move up to 240 And good value for a sweet ticket. Move that up as well. So it just gives us some extra money at certain prices. Merchandise. Our merchandise is selling well, as you can see. We've got decent value on Nike home jersey. They'll go for that. Decent value on that as well. We can't do that because we haven't won the Super Bowl yet. All of this can stay at decent value. We don't need to make any extra money on Team Appeal. We've got decent value on Russell Wilson. We're going to move all of these up. Um, because there are superstars, we will move them up. Earl Thomas can stay as he is. Um, but we're going to move all of these up because they are, are absolute superstars. Um, I know they are slightly expensive. You see at the side, people are saying they're expensive. But they're the stuff that make us a lot of money. We've got decent value here. We're going to move this up as well. Um, Riddle Mini Helmet can move up to 30 as well. Just to try and offer a bit, gain a bit more money from everything. We go to concessions. All the concessions can stay a decent value. Let me know if you think I should move any of them up. Team revenue. You see, we're making more money than we're, um, than we're spending on wages by far. So we could afford to go out and sign a couple more players. We have got the cash to do so. Marketing. There's not much you can do with marketing. It just shows you which players are your superstars. You see, we've got the five superstars. We could use going out and getting another one, to be fair. But we may do that nearer the trade deadline. Right now, we're not going to. So that's all the stuff really that's new on here. Here, you can choose to upgrade, which is probably what we're going to do. We're going to upgrade our stadium. Um, the stadium is the life of... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. The stadium store is starting to get a little old. Think about upgrade. So let's go into upgrade. We can renovate the parking. Right now, that's, a, um, that's 80. So if we renovate... I don't want to renovate parking. The team store really needs renovating. Right now we can't, and I'm not really sure why, because it costs too much. So we can't renovate the team store, but we will do when we can. Um, everything else is decent. We could use upgrading our seating, so that's probably going to come first. We'll upgrade that as soon as we possibly can when we get the money. So we'll look into that in the next episode, probably, or whenever we get the money. Staff, I'm fine with. So everything is set now. As we move into the regular season, it felt good to be out there. You see the preseason, all the buzzes about us and stuff like that so in the next one we can't import a draft class because i haven't got it uh not doing practice but in the next episode we would go for our first regular season game against the carolina panthers 
Let me know what you think of everything that's gone on. And peace out, YouTube. We're heading into overtime.